Hey there! In today's episodes of our series, I'd like to talk about the five must-haves for effective endpoint protection. You know, we really can't stress enough the importance of endpoint protection, for a few reasons. The first one is that 70% of cyber attacks involve an endpoint. Just imagine how vulnerable your organization is when your endpoints are left unprotected. The second reason comes from the fact that most of the workforce today is remote and probably will be like this for a while to come. When it comes to security, having a mostly remote workforce is all about securing the endpoints. So how can we make sure that we are effective with endpoint protection and avoid security breaches and data compromise? Well, what we need is a complete solution that comes with the highest security level out there. We need to be able to protect the endpoint from any and every attack vector. And we need to be able to do this without compromising business continuity. Achieving all of those goals is within reach when you have the five must-have capabilities that we are going to cover today. The first must-have is anti-phishing capabilities. To better understand where your organization is in terms of anti-phishing, you should ask yourself, is my endpoint security suite protecting my organization from phishing attacks? Even phishing attacks that were never seen before. These days, phishing emails involve very sophisticated social engineering techniques that are designed to exploit human weaknesses. They include spoofing techniques that are designed to make the email look legitimate to the unsuspecting eye. So staying ahead of these cyber criminals and removing the burden of detection from the user is critical to prevent these kinds of attacks. And how can we do that? With an endpoint solution that doesn't just detect and block access to known phishing sites, but actively prevents complex and sophisticated attacks such as zero-day phishing, impersonation, spear phishing, and business email compromise, also known as BEC. Doing this means being able to perform full scans of websites and forms, as well as to perform a deep heuristic analysis. The solution should also be able to perform a reputation scan and include similarity algorithms such as visual similarity and textual similarity to well-known sites. The solution should also be able to detect image-only websites, look-alike fav icons and others, and many more techniques. This is really one of the few ways to detect both known and unknown phishing attacks. Moreover, with companies being breached on a daily basis, your employees' private information and credentials can be compromised by cyber criminals. That's why your endpoint security solution should be also able to prevent employees from reusing their corporate credentials on non-corporate websites. And it should also enable you to set an alert whenever a corporate password is being used in a non-corporate domain. Let's move on to the second must-have, which is anti-ransomware capabilities. And the question you should be now asking yourself is, is my organization protected against sophisticated zero-day ransomware attacks? One of the problems with zero-day ransomware is that you don't even know that it exists. And as a result, it strikes without warning with the security team often left unprepared. To make things worse, it can penetrate the organization through multiple entry points, including the web, email, or removable media devices. Unfortunately, traditional security products can't handle the challenge. They are typically not focused on ransomware detection. Without this capability, you run the risk of an attack bypassing your solution. And the impact of a successful zero-day ransomware attack can be financially devastating. Did you know that in 2019 alone, the cost of ransomware to the enterprises is estimated to have exceeded $7.5 billion. So what's the right solution? It's one that has an anti-ransomware engine that monitors changes to files on the user's drive and identifies ransomware behavior such as non-legitimate file encryption. Once such behavior is detected, the solution will take smart snapshots of the system that is being attacked and can block the attack and even 
recover encrypted files automatically, regardless of the encryption that was used. Okay, taking a look at must-have number three, which is content disarm and reconstruction, also known as CDR. The question to be asking ourselves this time is, can we make sure that all incoming files are safe without disrupting employees' productivity? In our fast-paced world, organizations can't afford to waste any time inspecting the files that are attached to incoming emails or that are coming to the network through the web or removable devices. But obviously, we can't take the risk of allowing files to be downloaded to users, PCs and laptop without inspecting them first. This is why your endpoint security must include an automatic file sanitization capability, also known as content disarm and reconstruction. With content disarm and reconstruction, attacks are proactively prevented. This is done by removing exploitable content from documents by sanitizing them from all potentially harmful elements, making them 100% clean. These sanitized versions should be delivered within seconds and without impacting employees' productivity at all. No disruption equals no risk. Must-have number four is anti-bot capabilities. The question this time around is, can we automatically detect and contain bot-related infections before sensitive data is exposed? Bots are a serious security threat. They are often used by hackers when targeting a particular individual or organization in what is known as Advanced Persistent Threat, or APT. The way that it works is that these bots connect to a bot operator's server, also known as command control, and may sometimes be called C2 or CNC. The hacker, known as bot operator, can remotely control the bot and instruct it to execute any activity without you ever knowing about it. Typically, the damage they do includes data theft, personal, financial, intellectual property, or organizational data. They can also send spam emails that attack resources in denial of service attacks or execute bandwidth consumption attacks that harm productivity and can hide important logs from your SOC team. In some cases, spam emails can also move laterally within the organization and pose a risk to senior personnel, also known as whaling attacks. In many cases, a single bot can even execute multiple attacks. But all this can and must be avoided, and this is possible when an endpoint security solution has anti-bot capabilities. An anti-bot solution detects infected machines by continuously monitoring outgoing traffic and identifying communication that occur with the command control servers. If an infection is detected, it blocks the traffic, remediates the attack, and isolates the compromised machine to prevent the potential spread of the lateral infection. And last but not least, must-have number five is automated post-breach detection, remediation, and response. And here, the question is, can my endpoint security solution automatically visualize and analyze incidents, contextualize them, and remediate them? Traditional endpoint detection and response, EDR solutions, can indeed detect suspicious behavior. But they typically have very few out-of-the-box rules and do not have any automatic remediation. When manual remediation is performed, there is the added risk of attack residues that were not cleaned. Not to mention that this process is time consuming and requires highly trained analysts. And this is something you really can't compromise on. An ideal endpoint solution should be able to automatically and completely remediate the entire cyber kill chain. To, to be able to do that, it should have forensics capability that automatically monitors and records endpoint events, including affected files, processes launched, system registry changes, and network activity. So once an attack has been detected, the infected device can be automatically quarantined to prevent lateral infection spread and restore the endpoint to a safe state. A detailed forensic report 
should be automatically generated to help you quickly determine. Is what just happened a real attack? How did the hacker get in? What is the impact on the business? How can I clean my system? Robust attack diagnostics and visibility allow system administrator and incident response teams to effectively triage and resolve attacks, significantly reducing the amount of time they will have to spend on analyzing incidents, freeing them up to focus on their more critical tasks. So in summary, as we have discussed, protecting your endpoints is a critical security need. And if you're going to do it right, you will need these five must-have capabilities. Anti-phishing, anti-ransomware, content disarm and reconstruction, anti-bot, and automated post-breach detection, remediation, and response. See you next time when we'll be talking about the five pillars of the optimal endpoint protection solution besides the obvious security aspects.